on Art Escape for 10 years uh, as of November, November 1st. So it's just, it's just been over 10 years. I've been here for three years. I have lived at the barns for 10 years. I've been here, well, I, mean, I moved in, uh, let me see, November of 2008. How long have I been here? I've been here for three years. Uh, basically, since the beginning, it has been 10 years. I have been here at the barns since before the barns were here. I moved into the neighborhood in around 1997, and in 1999 there was an election and we all started talking about saving the barns. I went to city council meetings and, and city hall and we started phone trees and we built a whole community. Like physically being in this space is inspiring. First of all, I'm a resident in the community, so I've been here for 30 years. Um, I've actually watched the development of Artscape, the transition from TTC Yard to this beautiful event space. So it was part of the inspiration for me to, do, to develop a concept for a business that was sustainable and that could also incorporate some social element to it. Being here uh, automatically includes one in the cultural scene in Toronto, the, the art scene, because there's a lot of opportunities that come through uh, for the tenants at the barns that otherwise one would not probably have access to. Having a space outside of the house where I could put, you know, my postcards on, you know, around, or I could have a, some of my artwork in the window, and you know, when people are here for the farmers market or for events, you know, they might grab a card. So, I would say that is the thing that stands out the most, um, and just the opportunity for community engagement that you don't get when you're tucked away somewhere. Uh, we're in a really unique position because we have an all-electric studio, which means we're able to be in this beautiful residential area to invite people into the studio and really connect with the community as they're making their way through the barns. Artscape has helped me develop my career as an artist by giving me the space to do my glass work, which is really rare and hard to find in Toronto now. Well, first of all, the space itself, um, it's a great space for what I'm doing. It's not the classic talk therapy. I mean, yes, we are talking, uh, you know, talk therapy is the cornerstone of most modalities out there, but Witchwood Barnes offers me like a, an atypical space so I can bring this creative dimension into psychotherapy. So the space itself speaks. One of my neighbors was very upset at the idea of saving the buildings. So I tried to tell her about, like, the native men's residents would bring programming here, and artists would bring programming, and, you know, and, 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 the food, the farmer's market, the, the different cultures and things that could come together. I'm able to meet uh, artists that live in the building and I participated in Dia de los Muertos um, with Jesus Mora, which is a fabulous event here at the Barnes. It's uh, an event that it's needed for the community. 
So the biggest thing for me as an artist is to share your art in diverse ways. In this very barn. In this very barn. So in this very barn. In this very barn. So in this very barn. In this very barn, once a week, I've had a party for the past 10 years and built community.